Each hour this morning, we have revealed the results of our MyHeritage.com DNA test. Now it's Ainsley's turn after we've discovered I am a Viking. <laughs> Back with us right now to share the results is the collaborator with MyHeritage.com and author of Something Beautiful Happened, Yvette Corporon. Welcome back, Yvette. Thank I hear you there's guys. something shocking in here. Well, you know, we've had something shocking for everyone, some surprises right. for everyone, and we have some really cool stuff for you. But now, Ainsley, you and I have talked about how your family has been here for many, many generations, mm -hmm. and perhaps we've discovered some of the history before that. Okay. Oh. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Yep. Okay, here we go. So, in the past, we knew that you had deep German roots, right? Mm -hmm. Earhart. Mm -hmm. There we go. What we have discovered is, drumroll please, that you are 68.5% North and Western European, which is Germany, France, Switzerland, and Belgium. Mm. So that makes sense. Right. Perhaps what you did not know is that you were 29.1% Scandinavian, which is Norway, Look Denmark, and Sweden. I'm related to Steve. 30% of me. It's the blonde hair. There okay. you have it. Okay. Not only that, we discovered that you were also 1.6% Middle Eastern. Oh, really? Look at yeah. that. So yeah. in that yeah. dot right there, the tan yeah. dot. Exactly. So that actually shows the region where your family is where? from. When Maybe I see Asia, right I think there. Middle East. Maybe Jerusalem, Bethlehem, uh, Israel, Saudi Arabia, that whole area of the world. Really? And then I have one last surprise for you. You ready? I'm ready. Point eight Sierra Leonean. What? Oh, wow. Yeah. So Wait, point eight. Point eight. Okay. Point eight. So Hayden can things. get a scholarship. There you they have can, it. like, circle other, right? There you have it. <laughs> I've actually heard that some people check DNA to see if they can yeah. diversify. And wow, that's with, interesting. Yeah, exactly. So there you have it. But not only that, as we have with you guys, we also took that information and dug deep to see what historical documents we could find okay. for you. Are you ready? Great. Okay. So we know that you have German roots, right? And we also found documents to support your Swedish heritage this time. We have the... What is it, an Ikea receipt? You know, I, I know you guys want to take that trip to Ikea. Yeah. Uh, perhaps we'll get you a discount. But this is a census document from 1850 that shows your Sweden. great, great, great grandfather on your mother's side, Charles Linford. It yeah. shows that he was a merchant living in South Carolina, and it shows that his place of birth was Sweden, wow. which, of course, yeah. speaks to the Swedish yeah. heritage we just found. But that's not all. So we know you have deep German roots, mm -hmm. and we found from um, historical records that your great-grandfather, Louis Marsteller, was born in Germany, and he moved to the U.S., and we discovered that his occupation in 1870 was actually a saloon keeper, right? Wow. Right, and we... Cheers. Louis Cheers. Marsteller, was his son Philip? Uh, that I don't know. I just okay. have Louis Marsteller, but I do know a little bit more about Louis, is that he was a saloon keeper, and Fun. the saloon was just across the Brooklyn Bridge oh, at 75 Court Street, and we Seriously? actually found a document from 1870 oh, showing the goodness. corner where his saloon was. Oh, now, wow. you can see it. I we can't see there? the actual saloon, but what you can see is that it's tucked away somewhere behind the tailor shop and the real estate shop. So it's there on the right side. Wow. Yep. Mom and Dad, when you come up, we'll have to go see it. There you have it. All right. That is fantastic. That's so cool. Thank Great. you so much.